Good morning. Welcome to day 11 of our 28 days of seeing Jesus. Today, I want to talk about verse 29. Let me ask you, do you have any testimonies about what's been happening in this during this devotion season? Send me an email if you would, or send us a, a message, or put a comment here on the video. I just we want to we'd love the testimony of, of, of what's happening in your life through this devotion. Verse 29, Jesus spoke some of the greatest words that he's written in scripture to us. He says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. I tell you what, if there's anything that we need in this day, in this age, it is rest for our souls. Anxiety, stress, depression. I mean, this is a cancer on not only the world, but on the body of Christ. And it seems sometimes that we begin this walk in rest and then we pick up burdens of performance. This is not the way Jesus wants us to live our lives. Many times, in fact, I would say the majority of times, we suffer from anxiety. We suffer from worry because we are carrying man-made burdens. This is not the burden of the Lord. This, this is not the concern of God. This isn't what Jesus told us to be concerned about. These are areas where we lack trust. These are areas where we are not certain about God's heart. These are not areas that it's been settled in our mind that God is good and he's going to come through in this situation and I don't need to touch it. Today, I want you to, even before you get up from watching this video, I want you to see Jesus. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to be still. I want you to focus on your breathing, focus on your heart rate, and see what pops in your mind. If these distractions keep coming in your mind, I want you to focus on the cross. I want you to see Jesus. I want you to see him reaching out to you. I want you to see the love of God saying, child of God, my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. Lay these, these cares at the foot of the cross today and allow God to be God in your life. I hope this brings you peace. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.